Hey there, Jim Schlexer with the CEO Project. Negotiating is something that we all do in our lives, whether it's negotiating for a new job, acquiring a company, building a partnership, buying a building, it doesn't matter, but you're always gonna be negotiating at some level. Now, my preferred technique is a very collaborative negotiating methodology, which is let's find an answer that works for everybody so we can all leave the table happy, or maybe we're all gonna leave a little bit unhappy. That's still an effective solution. But there are people out there that use techniques on you when they're negotiating. Now, I'm not advocating the use of these techniques, but at a minimum, you need to understand them so when somebody uses on them on you, you go, up. Oh, I know exactly what they did. And one of the more popular techniques that people use when negotiating is anchoring. So they anchor something in order to get a concession on the other side. I'll give you an example of anchoring. Um, we were trying to gain, a, one company I was buying, we were trying to gain a concession. In other words, they're gonna reduce the price that we're gonna pay for this company by, we wanted about $500,000, right? And so when we came in and we began to talk to them, we, and, and we surfaced the issue about making concession about the price, we said, well, look, $10 million would be way too much. So what we did by talking about $10 million, of course, they freaked out when we said that because it was way too much money in the scale of this deal. We anchored them on $10 million by mentioning it. We were only looking for a half a million or a million dollar concession. We ultimately got a million dollar concession in this particular case because it was a fairly small deal. But by anchoring and starting the position at 10 million, they felt like a million was actually a much more reasonable solution. On the other side, when somebody's talking about price, you might, and you see this all the time in sales situations, they'll talk about this mattress is valued at $3,000, but I can get it done for you for $1,500. What they're doing there, they may have never sold a mattress for $3,000, but they anchored you mentally on $3,000, so the $1,500 that they're actually asking for that mattress looks like a very fair price. This happens all the time, it's very subtle. Sometimes it's, it's as obvious as I just did it, but watch for it in retail, business, and in your personal life, people anchoring before they do. I'll give you one last example personally. When your kids wanna go out and uh, go party with their friends, and you ask, when are you gonna be back? Well, mom, we probably shouldn't be any later than 3 a.m. Now they know that you're gonna want them back at midnight, but they're anchoring you on 3 a.m. So their one hour, they really wanted to come back at 1 a.m., their one hour ask seems like a reasonable ask because they were extreme in their initial positioning. So I said, watch for it in the business, personal and retail environment, and realize that it's happening to you. You may still choose to make the concession, but at least you know what they did to get you there. <music>